how are you doing? Today, I'm gonna tell you a bunch of very important words that you should be able to know before going to IGCSE. When I started pre-IG, there were a lot of words thrown around about different things and I didn't understand these words. It took me a while to kind of understand the words and so here I am telling you those important words that you should be able to identify. So let's get started. The first thing you should be able to know is the difference between Cambridge, Edexcel and Oxford. These are all universities in the UK that have different IGCSE subjects. They produce their own exams. That they also decide what is to change in the contents of a certain subject that is in that university. You may be given the choice to pick subjects from all of these different universities. So it's quite important to know that, that a subject in any of these universities differs from the other universities. So for example, the biology for Cambridge is very different than it excels in Oxford's. It's but not only is the contents of the subjects between these universities are different, but also the way and the structures of the exams produced for each of these universities are very, very, very different. Not only is the structure of the paper different from each one of them, but also the structure of the questions and their arrangement in the papers. All these factors are very important when picking a subject from any of these universities. You should also know that it's okay to pick subjects from different universities. So you can pick three subjects from here and five subjects from there because all of these subjects are IGCSE it doesn't matter if they come from different universities. The first two words are past papers and classified. Past papers, just like the word says, are past papers for years, depending on how long the subject you're taking has been there. Uh, classified is basically the same thing. It's past papers, but the difference is classified papers are made by people made by teachers, made by students. It's classified papers basically take questions from past papers and arrange them in the order of lessons. So for example, lesson number one, uh, they take the questions from a past paper that relate to lesson number one. And classified papers may come in handy if you're still beginning the IGCSEs and you still don't know many lessons. I'll be doing a future video about past papers and classified papers since these two, how to find them and vocab words related to them. The next two words are core and extended. Core, as the name suggests, is the very core of a subject, basically the basics of a subject. And extended is the basics of a subject, which is core, and additionally to that is other lessons and topics that are a bit difficult. This might be very visible from the very beginning, but not many people choose to take subjects as a core, since the highest mark you can get is a C. And some universities don't accept C. It is much better to pick extended subjects than taking core. Another word that's related to these two is supplement and supplement is extended. Supplement though is very unique to the syllabus, which I'm about to explain right now. And I will do a video on the syllabus later on. The syllabus is basically a file that contains uh, the contents of a subject and what you should be able to know to take its test. And every single subject has its own syllabus. Next word is session. And session is basically the timing where you can take an exam. There are multiple sessions that you can decide to take your exam in. For example, there is the May-June session and the October-November session and the January session. These sessions are for Cambridge, so I'm not very sure how the sessions look in Edexcel and Oxford, but basically it's the timing where you can take your exam and you can pick which one you want to take your exam in for every single subject the next word is code 
and every single subject has its own code. This prevents misunderstandings. Writing the code in the search bar can prevent this misunderstanding and the code is unique for each subject. It's not repeated and you know the code changes even if the subject is the same. So biology Cambridge has a different code than biology at Excel and biology Oxford. The next word is variance, which is a word that I took a while to understand. But now I do. Countries that take IGCSEs are provided into time zones and each time zone has its own variant. So time zone number one can have variant one, time zone number two can have variant two and so on. Variants are basically different exams for a certain subject in a session and they depend on your time zone. These variants prevent leaks because some countries might have finished the exam and they could leak it to a country that still didn't start the exam. You can find out on Cambridge's website where your variant is based on your country. The last word is curve, which is also grade threshold. And to put it in simple words, Grade thresholds are the minimum amount of marks required to achieve a certain grade. And the threshold depends on whether the exam was hard or easy. And that's it. And this is the first episode of a whole series I'm planning on doing on a lot of IGCSE tips. And hopefully I'm going to be releasing a lot. And see you soon. Bye.